the Neostat can accept a remote air sensor, a remote floor sensor, or both. So let's talk you through how you wire and connect these, starting with the air sensor. To connect a remote air sensor, you'll need to connect the sensors to terminals RT2 and negative. When setting up the thermostat, it will need to be set up like this. Use the arrow keys to scroll to the power icon and press and hold it for three seconds. Setup will now be highlighted and press the tick. Use the up and the down arrows to change the small feature number to six. Use the left and the right arrow keys to change the bigger number to read 01. Press the tick to confirm the selection and the thermostat will revert to the main display screen for the selected mode. To connect a floor sensor, you'll need to connect the sensor to terminals RT1 and negative. When setting up your thermostat for a floor sensor, you'll need to use the arrow keys to scroll to the power icon, press and hold the tick key for three seconds. Setup will now be highlighted and press the tick key again. Use the up and the down arrows to change the small feature number to six and use the arrow keys left and right to change the bigger number to read three. Press the tick to confirm the selection and then the Neostat will revert back to the main display screen for the selected mode. To connect both the remote air sensor and the remote floor sensor at the same time, the positive wire for the air sensor should be connected to RT2, the positive wire for the floor sensor should be connected to RT1, and the negative wires for both should be common together and connected to the negative terminal. To connect both air and floor sensors, you need to set the thermostat up like this. Use the arrow keys to scroll to the power icon. Press and hold the tick for three seconds. Setup will be highlighted. Now press the tick. Use the up and the down keys to change the small feature number to six. Use the arrow keys left and right to change the bigger number to read four. Press the tick to confirm the selection and the Neostat will revert back to the main display screen for the selected mode. If the sensor is wired incorrectly, or if the incorrect sensor option is selected, the thermostat will show an error on screen. E1 is shown if there is an issue with the floor sensor. E2 is shown if there is an issue with the air sensor. To clear sensor errors, it's a case of checking the sensor selection in the settings menu. Use the arrow keys to scroll to the power icon, press and hold the tick for three seconds, and setup will be highlighted. Now press the tick, and the display will show one in the top right hand corner. Press the up or down key so that six is shown as a smaller feature number on the display. Use the arrow keys to change the sensor selection. Zero zero is the default internal sensor. Zero one is the remote air sensor. Zero three is the internal air sensor and floor sensor. And zero four is where you have both a remote air sensor and a floor sensor. Press the tick once you're happy with the selection and the arrow will clear.